as I came out of my teenage years, I was in a uh, complicated place. I had a lot of uh, difficulty focusing, trying to figure out what I wanted to do, what I wanted to be, where I wanted to go. Biggest point is the Marines, they promised me nothing. Um, I think I've been promised things my whole life, or had been promised things my whole life, and the Marines promised me nothing. In fact, they guaranteed me nothing. I, I came from a privileged background. I had a lot of opportunities available to me. Had I not gone through the Marines, I, I might have grown up with some sense of entitlement or um, some sense of feeling that, um, that the challenge wasn't necessary. When you first start, the Marines make a point, no matter what your prior experience, no matter what talent you might have, no matter what, um, what you think you're gonna bring on day one, everything's removed. You will become what you make of yourself. And it is that experience of being brought down to the common level with everyone else and knowing that everything you do from that point forward is something that you will treasure as your own. You haven't been given it, you haven't bought it, uh, it hasn't been willed to you, you've, you've earned it. I had the opportunity to serve both in peacetime and in wartime. I joined in peacetime and I left at the end of the war. In peacetime training, they promise you that everything you train for is a wartime environment. They take the training seriously. When you make that transition from peacetime to wartime, the transition actually isn't that large. And as you sit back and you remember your lessons from the first day you got off the bus to the rifle range to any other experience, it all comes flowing back to you. And you find out that when it really does count, you have the structure, you have the background, you have the training, and there is not a great transition. You are as well equipped and well prepared physically, mentally, tactically as you can be. And that's why Marines succeed.